30 minutes up in Dayton because yes. of the rain. Oh, today? Today, yes. Yeah, okay. so. Well, it's still heavy up there, yeah. but it's, it's moving off to the east. So here's the wide view. I wanted to bring that up because there is another area of rain coming out of Bowling Green, Kentucky, but it's going to bypass the tri state for the midday just to our east. So we're at the backside of the morning rain. I think we're going to see improving conditions over the coming hours. Here's a close look at the WLWT radar. The heaviest downpours over the last 30 minutes, anywhere from Hamilton to Springboro, lifting northeast. You still have some activity for northern Warren County. It'll last a little bit longer. We are seeing some lightning with this up the I-75 and 71 corridor. Light showers for Adams and Highland County still sliding east, but basically northern Kentucky dry and likely to stay dry through our midday with just isolated afternoon thunderstorms then. So a close look. Spring Row showing the rainfall. It's north of I-71 right now. It'll lift into this northeasterly direction. Wilmington has already received around a half of an inch of rain. Looks like they may see a few more tenths of an inch there in Clinton County. So our future cast at 9 a.m. Picking up on the activity in northern parts of the tri-state and the rain moving out from the eastern uh, part of the region. And then notice still some isolated storms for the afternoon and then even into the evening hours. So can't rule out it or don't think it's going to be a dry rest of our day. Can't rule out a thunderstorm downtown for the rest of the afternoon for River Fest as well as into our evening. But they will be isolated the rest of the day past about 11 a.m. to noon, this a noon today. We should have fairly quiet conditions. And also notice the clouds trying to break up just a touch for the late afternoon. So maybe even a few peaks of sunshine as we head past 5 and 6 o'clock today and towards sunset this evening around 8 p.m. Rainfall totals have been impressive underneath some of the heavy downpours this morning. Connersville in Indiana over an inch of rain. Beaver Creek in Ohio at St. Luke's School also over an inch. This is since midnight, about two-thirds of an inch for Batesville and Connersville in Indiana. Rainfall today for official reporting sites. Nothing too impressive at the airport. Three hundreds, four tenths at Hamilton. Wilmington approaching a half inch of rain here at the station in Cincinnati around a quarter of an inch. 72 right now, a south wind at 10 miles an hour. The dew point at 70. The temperature today is not going to be as warm as it's been as of late, but it's going to stay muggy. We'll keep that dew point high through the afternoon, especially after the rainfall from last night. Satellite and radar combined showing all this moisture streaming up toward the New England states, but there is a distinct back edge that's trying to work its way in for the second half of our day to improve the forecast with only isolated storms. At noon today, the rainfall in Kentucky sliding to our east will not be a problem for us. Isolated afternoon to evening storms continue. Should be quiet then tonight, then refire a few more isolated to scattered storms for Monday on Labor Day. And we'll continue with the activity on Tuesday. No big changes in the air mass, so we still have some pop up storms possible. And as that cold front gets closer, we'll actually increase the coverage Tuesday night. And at that point, we'll also start to watch the chance for maybe some stronger thunderstorms. If we see anything, pop up this afternoon. Do not think we're talking any severe weather with thunderstorms for Riverfest this afternoon. 80 degrees for a high today. The early rain moves out and isolated storms with light south winds. When fireworks kick off at 905, 75 degrees and most of the tri-state dry. We'll hope that includes downtown. Partly cloudy skies. Tonight we drop off to 69 for a low and tomorrow afternoon we start warming back. 86 degrees for a high and then we'll stay mid to upper 80s the rest of the forecast. So today the coolest day, the only day below average. Beyond this as we start September on a warm note, scattered storms will also stick around. They'll last into next weekend.